it's just it's just so funny that a piece of his perverted twisted brain even thought that i even thought about him when i made that video that's that's what's funny to me uh i'm gonna be the person to fill you guys in on who this man is right here so edp is a uh basically a child abuser man you know there's no beating around the bush he's a child abuser he uh tries to manipulate and get with underage girls um you know just all, all around not good dude all around not good dude so before i made my big transition before you know i made my exodus from the secular content to you know the more godly content i was part of a sting operation where uh me and a popular youtuber who catches uh pedophiles by the name of skeeter gene we did an operation to catch him up because he had hit up somebody in my other discord not in the discord that we have currently but in my other one he had slid into a 15 year old girl's dms and he's also currently talking to a lot of other uh underage girls as well he's being investigated right now by the fbi i don't know what's taking them so long but you know it is what it is so we did a little sting operation he got exposed before two years ago um but then it kind of died down but then we reignited the flame uh once the victim me and skeeter dream brought information back up to uh the public that he's back at it again he didn't get arrested the first time he got caught but uh we're we're hoping and praying that this last time is the thing that is going to get him put away so uh he talked smack about me a couple months ago uh but just fast forward you know it's been what like three four months since the incident about three months and uh he's back at it and I've been told that he threatened my life in this video. You feel me? I haven't watched it for myself, but the person that uh, told me about it, I trust them. Uh, he had posted this video on his website because he is currently banned from the YouTube platform. So uh, I didn't want to support his website at all. So I had a solid post uh, his video. But yeah, basically, he's just a um, he's a child predator. He's a child unapologetic unapologetic child predator you know what i mean i believe that anybody can um get redemption that doesn't mean you know you have to be all buddy buddy and trust them and everything but uh what i've seen from uh edp is he's very unapologetic about what he does and he doesn't care about the uh the ladies the the children that he's hurting he doesn't care at all and uh he actually gets off on it so you know what i mean um I just pray that his only punishment will be on earth. And I pray that he repents and that he doesn't get the second judgment. You know what I mean? But uh, if he doesn't repent at the rate that he's going at, uh, we all know what's going to happen. So I just want to see what he has to say. So let's get into this reaction. All right, y'all. So what the is my name is your boy, Eat That 445. Coming back at you, no live trolling. We get another goddamn video. So this Jidian, right? decided to turn his life over to God and he's finally realizing how big of a piece of that he is, how up, dirty and grimy that he is. He's finally understanding the, the damage that he has done to people. You know what I mean? with his stupid pranks, you know, running up on me, you know what I mean, bothering me, you know what I mean, um, low-key exposing phone numbers, exposing where I work at, you know what I mean? Um, I didn't expose his phone number and didn't expose where he works at. Um, the only people's phone numbers I ever exposed is my friends on, on stream by accident, so... <laughs> Um, I'm not out here exposing people's phone numbers and where people work. I don't agree with that, but I do agree with the one thing. I am, um, I was ruining people's days and stuff like that. So that's why I had to repent and take down my content. So I can't say anything about that. You know, he's totally right on that. All that basically exposing addresses and all that. You know what I mean? Basically being your biggest internet clown um, that this world has ever seen. 
And so he made a video, and again, I didn't even go looking for this video. Um, my main, uh, my Billy, he just called me up. Um, he told me about the video, talking about he deleted all of his content and whatever. I'm just like, okay, what the f does this have to do with me? I don't give a f You know what I mean? But he told me that this is turning his life over to God. And, you know, he's... He's apologizing to everybody that he's over and whatever. Listen, dog, do I forgive you? Oh, no, I didn't. I didn't apologize to you, my man. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> let's, 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 I don't want you to take that video. I literally everybody. <laughs> Everybody that I ever did something to, that's who I was apologizing to. No, 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 buddy. I do not want you thinking I'm apologizing to you. No, 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 no. Don't, Brian, 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 don't get it twisted. Don't get it twisted about. Oh, nah. Oh, hey, <laughs> bro, 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 think we talking to, <laughs> oh, man, <laughs> oh, no, 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 hey, hey. <laughs> hey, I gotta run, I gotta run that, <laughs> he's apologizing to everybody that he's over and whatever, listen, dog, <laughs> do I forgive you? You can kiss my bro. May you burn in my hell, dog. Um, <sighs> you can suck my kiss my You know it's just crazy. It's just it's just so funny that a piece of his perverted, twisted brain even thought that I even thought about him when I made that video. That's that's what's funny to me. Brian, I, 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 I'm not I'm not apologizing to you at all. You know why? Because what I did to you was because of your own actions. You see, the thing about these um, the thing about these sting operations is usually they have a decoy. You know, it's not a real 14, 15 year old girl. But the thing about the situation about me is he was actually talking to an actual 15 year old girl. And the perverted, sick, twisted things that he was saying to this girl, my brother, I do not apologize to you at all. I'm actually, actually happy that you think that because I, you know what? This is this is the best gift that I would have to give for you. You are being investigated by the FBI right now, my brother. The FBI, you have feds on you. So this is this is the best you'll get. Is you'll get a warning. They 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 have information about the girl the victim that you know who she is and they know about the other girls that you were talking to they have it all but you have the feds and if i'm not mistaken i think the feds have a 98 percent lockup rate so yeah that's the best you're gonna get brian the best you're gonna get is i'm sending you a warning you will be going to prison all i can tell you man is while you were in prison repent and ask for forgiveness from the most high. That's that's the best I could tell you. You need to repent. You need to stop indulging in your sick, perverted actions. You need to stop grooming and torturing these children. And you need to repent and get you need to be pulling to me and giving your life over to God. You know? So that's the best I'll give you. That's the best I will give you. I will give you a warning. Um, you can lick my um all that you know what i mean um i know um god forgives everybody um god forgives everybody who has committed sins you know yeah. what i mean god heals all yeah um i'm just hoping and praying that god makes one exception and doesn't decide to um let this heaven um mm. Because, Dang. you know, you have to understand. Mm, so you're praying to God that he won't let me into heaven. 
Hey, you know, you know why he has this level of hatred towards me? He has this level of hatred towards me is because I shined a light to millions of people on his perverted actions and what the disgusting things he is doing. That's why he's so mad at me is not because I lied on him, not because I slandered him, not because I made up a... Because you, you know what he will never do? He'll never come out and say that I lied on him. He'll never come out and say that we made all this up because he knows that's not true. He knows what he did, and he's just mad that he got caught and millions of people had to see it. That's what he's mad about. And the crazy thing is, is I was in his face. I was in his face, and he was begging me not to do anything, not to post any of this, but... Now that he's, um, you know, in the safety of his own home and everything, he could talk all this big stuff. And you're going to be and you're praying to God. I, 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 I actually got people out here praying to God that he won't forgive me for my sins. So, Brian, I got one thing to ask you. What sin or what offense have I done to you? I, what, what offense have I done to you, Brian, that you don't want to be forgiven? And right. This has a massive following damn near eight million okay and you know see that's the thing with you man like I, I say this all the time and me think this is a game I think that i'm just talking out my i don't know what the i'm talking about you know it's like you forget that i used to have damn near what four million subscribers on youtube you know what i mean i know about the and the fame, and the money, and the glamour, and the clout shit, my nigga. I know all about that. You feel me? And this Gideon, along with all these other prank YouTubers that like to go around with people, they lose sense of reality. You know what I mean? They're going out here purposely with people. You know what I mean? And it's like, I say this, I'll say, I said this once, I'll say it again. You do not know what people are going through in their life. You know what I mean? You do not understand, you know what I mean, what's going on. You lose sense of reality. Somebody could be having the worst possible day, and here come your made punk, ball headed decided to run up on dialysis centers dialysis centers you know what i mean with people you see how he won't why why did we run up on you at that dialysis center what information did we have that you didn't want us to put out there then and for you guys that don't know is he was talking to a 15 year old girl talking about how he wanted to have birthday sex with her and how he was trying to fly her out uh, when she turned 16, because in the state of the uh, in the state of Nevada, um, the age of consent is 16, and all this stuff, sending perverted pictures and texts and everything, grooming. Then also on the other end, grooming other girls. You know what I mean? So you're saying you had a bad day that we brought to light the sick stuff that you were doing, <laughs> and so. You know, you know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of Eddie Brock. Like when Eddie Brock went inside of the uh the church to pray to God that God would kill Peter Parker. Like that's the same type of energy that I'm getting from Bryant right here. The same, same, same type of energy. And I'm just like, do you understand? So when you walk into the dialysis center, there's a sign right that says no firearms slash weapons of any kind is allowed in the in the facility okay now i have my ccw um i carry a 1911 chambered in 45 acp you feel me and i like to respect the law i try to respect the law and so i kept my gun in the car no that's that, that's exactly why we caught you at the dialysis the dialysis center you see, that's how many steps ahead of you I was. I was like, hmm, what is the most safest option that we can have to confront this monster? And it was, okay, he goes to his dialysis center. Oh, they don't allow guns in there. Boom, bada, boom. That's how many steps. That's just scary, Brian, that I was that many steps ahead of you. 
You know what I mean? And I'm walking into the dialysis center. You guys see in the video. Here come this dressed up in this stupid cupcake outfit. Now, if I was a and I didn't give a about the law, do you understand that I could have easily killed you? Gideon, do you understand that I could have easily put five hollow points in your chest? But you didn't. You missed your chance, buddy. You snooze, you lose. You feel me? Based on all this YouTube that's been going on in my life, you feel me? I've gotten thrown out of my apartment, okay? My friends don't want nothing. Well, a few of my friends don't want to do with me. Okay, I'm getting ran up on by at Walmart. I can't even go out and go grocery shopping because of your clown and also because of other people. You feel me with the Chet Goldstein? You know what I mean? Making my life a living hell. Like, and not just for Gideon, but Chet and all these other. Do you understand that I could have easily killed you? But you didn't, buddy. All the guns that I got now, SCAR 17, SCAR 20, SCAR 16, LMT, MWS chambered in 308, Nelly M4, shotgun, AR-15 chambered in 224, Valkyrie. If I was a and I didn't give out the law could have easily found you and executed. Hey, you could have, but you didn't. Yeah, I'll be spending the rest of my life in jail, but guess what? You got what the was coming to you. I could have easily killed you. But you didn't. That's how serious. And you expect me to forgive you. No, I do. N I don't expect you to forgive me because I never apologized to you. How could I expect you to forgive me and I never apologized to you? Did, did any examples that I use? Did I say anything about you, Brian? No, Brian, you were not a thought in my mind. You know what? The one thing that if I had to go back and do it all over again, I would quite literally go back and expose you all over again. I would quite literally do that. I would quite literally do that. Like, yeah, yeah, wholeheartedly. Because you're a monster and you need to be in prison. Because of the sick, perverted stuff that you over here texting 15 and younger girls. You are very sick. And I very, I, I you know what? Even though you pray that I don't see the pearly gates, I still pray for you that your soul can be saved. And I still pray that you will um, repent and turn your life over to Jesus Christ. But just as much as I want you to repent, that also doesn't mean I want you on my streets. I don't want you anywhere near other children. You do not belong around other children. You can repent and turn back to Christ in prison. And that's where you belong. But I'm still praying for you, Brian. Even though you hate me this much, I still pray for you that much that you'll, in prison, you'll still turn your life over to Christ. And believe some. Tears. Oh, 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 turn my life over the God. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yo, apology. You can take that apology and ram it up. That's all I give. You feel me? Because of you, Gideon, I couldn't even receive dialysis that day. I had to, my blood pressure was sky high. Why was your blood pressure so high? We never touched you. We didn't scream at you. We didn't do anything. Why, when we confronted you, why did you start texting the 15 year old girl? Why did you set me up? Why did you set me up? Why immediately? We didn't even bring her up yet. But you automatically started texting her, blowing up her phone, getting mad at her, blocking her, then unblocking her. It wasn't me that made your blood pressure go high, or was it your perverted actions that made your blood pressure go high? You see, whenever my mama catches me doing something I'm not supposed to do, my blood pressure don't get high because, oh, why did you catch me? It's because I know I got caught doing something I wasn't supposed to do. And, you know, that's exactly what happened to you. You got caught doing something you weren't supposed to do.
And now you're counting the days, looking outside your apartment, waiting for the feds to come get you. And brother, I really do hope and pray that one day you repent fully and you get rid of this potty mouth. You get rid of this hatred inside of you for me and the hatred that you have for your victims. I don't even know why, but you hate your victims. And I hope that you can let go of that and really give your life over to Christ. But until you can take accountability for your actions, you, you see, you can't take accountability for your actions if you're not in jail, because then you're getting away with it. So you have to learn your lesson. So you have to go to jail and you will go to jail. I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to set up here a lot of you. You will go to jail. But the beauty about it is they have Bibles in jail. They have sermon lectures in jail. You can still have church in jail. You can still learn about our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ in prison. You can still turn your life over. Just because you're in prison doesn't mean your life is over. At the end of the day, this is not the, this is not the life that we're wanting to live. We're waiting for the resurrection. And I pray and I really hope that you turn your life over to the most high. I had to go to the kidney center on the kidney access center because of you. I had to have surgery, extra surgery. I had to have the port stuck back in my chest. Because they couldn't get dialysis through my goddamn fistula in my left arm. So I had to have surgery. I had to have a catheter stuck in my chest just so they could, just so I could receive treatment. And then you decided to follow me from the dialysis center all the way across town to the access center. Indeed. Apology. Balls. I'm good. Here's, you got every thing that you got coming to you now i know you're probably trolling thing going away you feel me oh i deleted all my videos and your videos because this this is real life right this ain't a game it's and, indeed and, and real life i'll say this again that is the problem with you youtube and that's another reason why when i was making youtube videos never filmed anybody that didn't want to be on camera yeah you were sending inappropriate pictures to underage girls to listen to sex from multiple underage girls you're literally whoremongering children not only were you being a whoremonger you were whoremongering children and you said this quote unquote that you like prepubescent girls you like girls that are underage it aroused you to be talking to underage girls so that was your target demographic was to get underage girls. But you're mad at me for showing the world what you were doing in the dark. What's in the dark always comes to the light, Brian. Always. Everybody that I was on camera got you. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'll do a video, whatever. That is the issue with you, YouTube. You going around here, you prank with people, bothering people, thinking that game until they turn around and test your jaw knock you out kill you shoot you leave your on life support in the hospital and now you on the fighting for your life trying to figure out what the happened you tested you with the wrong person all right that's the end of the video man I just caught wind of that, that he was threatening in my life. But I, the real reason why I wanted to make a reaction to this is because even though he's done some disgusting things and everything, the beauty of our Lord and Savior is that he can still repent, man. So that's the whole reason why I want to get this message out there is because I want him to see this. Like, Brian, your life, life technically, I mean, you're still going to be alive, but your life might be over here on this earth, but that's what we're not here for man we're waiting for the resurrection we're waiting to be in the kingdom with our lord and savior jesus christ man and if you keep on living in your past sins you keep on living in your past life and stuff like that you're not going to be able to partake in that resurrection so you're cutting yourself short on both ends you know you already ruined your life on this earth why not better your life the remainder of it that you have for, to wait for the resurrection brian i would love to see you in the kingdom man i would love to see you in the kingdom seeing that you got your life together that you truly repented and everything i would love to see that you know and i hold no hatred towards you 
But I'm also not going to lie to you. I don't regret anything. If I had to do it all over again, I would. Because just because your dirty secrets got brought out to the light of what you were doing to children, that, that's not my problem. I was no one, t no one put a gun to your head to have you do all those inappropriate things to children. Nobody. You did that all to yourself. Now, the ball's in your court. Are you going to repent and change your life for the better? Or are you going to sulk and blame everybody else?